and we're back. I want to do at least one more video of Shadowrun Returns before I, uh, before we see what we're going to do with it. I might make it into a series, it might just be these two videos, depends on the reception. I'm in the back. So uh, this is close to the part where the legitimate game begins. The minty fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Alright. Let's see. So again, we're just gonna go through these. You can pause if you want to read them. I read them and uh, I just very, read very quickly so if I'm reading too fast for you uh, just go ahead and pause. Let's see. How do I want to introduce myself here? Eh, I have no contacts. I could use getting my name out. Who told you he was dead? Hmm, I better not tell him about the reward. Don't wanna, I think I might wanna keep that to myself. Hmm, Emerald City Ripper victim, who's that? Always removes an internal organ. I, I don't know too much about Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah. What prize did the Ripper take from Sam? <laughs> Liz, one else. Sometimes uh, some of these comments seem pretty callous, but this is a callous world. This one is. I'm, I'm not that weird. I'm not that pessimistic about our own. You'd be surprised. A lot of people who are pessimistic are just ignorant. A lot of people who are optimistic are just ignorant. A lot of people are just ignorant. Before we go out and talk to McCluskey, let's see what we can do here. First time without a smirk on it. Every time it says that, I think of uh, Max Payne. <laughs> you ever played the Max Payne games? They model him with a permanent smirk the entire time. So we can look through all this evidence through the evidence bag here. Well, won't be needing that anymore. Probably be happy we took it, honestly. Seamstresses Union. Strange kind of union. Let's see, look at the handwritten note. Love Jessica. See you there, love Jessica. So. Let's talk to McCluskey here. <laughs> I like the name for that. It's just such a stereotypical cop name. So this guy's a police officer troll. I love how they uh, they really do bring the world alive with these little portraits. This touch. The characters in Shadowrun are really the most interesting part about it to me. Combination of drugs and magic. So we're figuring out some details here about the killer. <laughs> superhuman powers of observation. Let's see. I could be polite with him. You know what? Let's see, we wanna be we wanna be confrontational? Nah. Let's let's let this guy we 
think that we're just no one. So as you can see, the Lone Star police are just as mercenary as we are. They just wear a badge. Great at dinner party. Let's see. Ah, I'm gonna return the favor. Can I do to help you? Let's see. So this guy, so this guy decides he likes us a little more than McCluskey, so now he's gonna help us a lot. A lot more than he'll help him anyways. So, so we know McCluskey's got some friends high up. Aren't you the official in that sense? What are organs worth these days? Let's see, how can we build our case here? Yep. In, cy in uh, cyberpunk worlds, another common aspect is uh, sort of cyberization or, or uh, people will get limbs or body parts that are artificial and they're usually pretty commonplace. So uh, actually selling organs isn't that, uh, isn't that lucrative anymore. You gotta sell a whole healthy body. So who still uses scalpers? Seamstresses Union. Ah, so it's a club. The dead are just easier to get along with. Dresden is a little bit uh, off. <laughs> Let's see, where was Sam killed? So a body lockers? I don't find anything useful in a body locker. You know where the murder site is or not? Or I'll go do that. I like I like that other response a little better. Let's see here. John Doe. Well, I guess we open it up. Fully fully clothed body of a man. Jake Armitage, if uh, you ever played the Super Nintendo Shadowrun, Jake Armitage is the main character. I played it, I think I played it for about 30 minutes, and uh, I, I, found, I, found the way it, uh, I found the way it did dialogue options really frustrating. You had to collect them kind of like collectible items, it was really bizarre. Like if you forgot to ask one person who's walking past you about guns, you could never ask anyone else about guns. <laughs> for the rest of the game, as far as I could got, as far as I got anyways. I did not get very far in that game. <laughs> you were sleeping in a freezer. Freezer for dead people. <laughs> Cheaper than a coffin hotel, the service is just as good. Yeah, coffin hotels, they are basically hotels where the room is just just enough for you to sleep. Just for you, enough for you to crawl in and just fall asleep. There's already hotels like that in some places in the world like Japan, but I don't think they have as uh, such a terrible name. I'll ask the questions. What the hell are you doing in a morgue drawer? This guy cool. See, you want to have good manners? I guess we're a wizard. Maybe we would. Yeah. A culture goblin. Such a rare thing in this city. See, manners will take you far. And I suppose we also have that high charisma.
Hmm. So. Soy calf, by the way, is the equivalent of coffee. Just about everything in Shadowrun is made from is a soy product. If you're a, an average person, getting real food not made from soybeans is pretty darn difficult. The uh, coroner there is kind of amusing to me. Hmm. Let's see. You know anything else? Chrome and crimson glass. I guess we gotta help this guy take out some gangers. It'd be nice to have someone on your back. Doesn't leave me a lot of room to sell you out. I could be mercenary, but I mean, I'm already making a hundred thousand Nuyen, and I want to. I, I, right now, I need to make friends. Sometimes, a lot of people think that the uh, intelligent thing, if you want the most money, is to just ask. Is to just. Uh, you know, be a real jerk and always try and squeeze people. A lot of you, you want to be tactical with how you squeeze people. Even if you're just going to be a complete mercenary and just work for as much money as you can, you still, occasionally, you'll still want to do things pro bono. Sometimes a contact is worth a lot more than money. <laughs> well, uh, we don't really have a gun. Uh, skill. I suppose we should probably get them. Uh, let's see. Give me a pistol. Let's see. If you're buying. Hey, I've already provided the party, baby. Yeah, let's get out of here. Ooh, stuff. There's a trauma kit. That's sort of a robot. If you're a Final Fantasy fan, think of a Phoenix Down. Basic med kit. Get out into the barrens. So yeah, it seems like our frame rate tends to drop at these loading screens. I guess there's not a whole lot of point at having a high frame rate in a loading screen. I'm amazed at, I, I guess I don't know enough about, uh, enough about video games to understand why they would put, uh, would even have a frame rate, or why Fraps is currently detecting a frame rate at least. You guys can't see it, but, uh, it's kind of going between 1 and 10 right now. <laughs> I like that bike, uh, that bike reminds me of, uh, Kanye Does Bike from Akira right there. I don't know if you can see my mouse at all. So I'll just walk over to the bike. I might start playing this with my mouse visible. Would make a lot more uh, make a lot more sense with a uh, sort of point and click game. You can play this whole game pretty much with your mouse, with the exception of just looking in your inventory and so on. I actually have no idea how to do. Oh, let's see, we already have two karma points. Um, I'm not sure there's much we can do with that just yet. So we'll wait until we get a few more. Uh, one interesting thing about this game, there isn't a strict leveling up system. The experience points you get are called karma points, and those points essentially, uh, you spend them like currency. You can spend them when you get them. And, uh, we can also see all our stats here, and we can see J uh, Jake Armitage stat Armitage's stats from here. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of ranged combat skill with a specialization in pistols. And he's got uh, spell casting abilities. He's also got a high intelligence, but he hasn't done much with it. He's got a high charisma, but he hasn't done much with that either. So let's see what we can get here. I believe we'll finally get equipment. 
that's uh, useful for us. Perfect, Matt. It's like he knows. What you'd like to do with this? Well, I'll send it to my stash because I don't really have a skill for it. Ooh. I'll replace a med kit with that. Uh oh. And we've got a drone too. Oh, you missed us, buddy. Too quick for you. And he got Armitage there with a little with a little bit of his uh, grenade. We can finally activate our drone. So let's go ahead and drone this guy. You got any other moves? Nope, you can just shoot him. Drones are great in this game, by the way. Alright, let's cast some spells. Oh, uh, we don't have the AP to cast uh, this spell. And uh, we can't cast a fetish. We can't uh, use a, our fetish just yet. The fetish is a one-time use item that will summon a powerful spirit. Uh, spirits are really powerful and really nasty. And uh, so they're really useful, but if uh, your spirit control isn't high enough, they can uh, get away from you. And uh, they'll start just going berserk. Dead drops are so hard to keep. Same dreck in every city these days. I like that one. Halloween. I actually kind of like, and a lot of times I like playing in altruist and dystopian games. It's like playing on hard mode, and it's a hard mode that actually feels uh, really rewarding in more than one way. Uh, being an altruist in a dystopia is really very difficult. You make a lot of ep enemies, but <laughs> it's really, really uh, entertaining. I might try playing that way later. I used to, I played that way in uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Let's see. Eh, well, how, how should we play it? Do we want to be an altruist? Sure. How can I help? We'll do it for now. I might be a little more mercenary later. Our livelihoods depend on this market. Where is it? And this is Sarah. Who's Sarah? Hello, Sarah. What's going on? Ah, let's see. What are the guys we're after? Might want to clear out before the shooting starts, lady. So, uh, Halloweeners are a very common gang in uh, Shadowrun. Uh, they they uh, wear a lot of face paint and they're big jerks, unsurprisingly. Dandelion Eaters. Dandelion Eaters is a uh, derogatory term for an elf there. You can see it as, uh, you can see it as uh, graffiti just below, just at the bottom of the screen here. Running with Jake? Bad idea, buddy. 